clear all tasks if needed, and build and run. And as you can see, it'll be building, compiling, building, installing. Succeeded means that there are no errors. And now let's just test this. If I click this button right now, it should load up the new view, which is at the moment blank. So let's go into simulator. Open new page. As you can see, it opened up the new page and there was a scrolling up animation because I set animated yes over here. Uh, just as an example, if I set animated no and save and clear all tasks and build and run, if I set that as no, as you can see, it opened up the new page without the scrolling animation. But I think that looks worse, so we're going to say yes. Clear all tasks, build and run. And again, it opens up the page with a scrolling action. Uh, I would like to note that this is also multitasking, automatically multitasking enabled. So as you can see, I close the app. But when I open it up, it still shows the new page. It doesn't show the old page because it's still multitasking enabled. So once we close this, and as you can see, it's back to the new page. So now what we need to do is make it so that we can dismiss the new page and go back to the old page. So to do that, it's again, very simple. New page.h, again, we're not gonna need the interface. We're gonna create a new IB action and we're gonna call this close. So basically when this IB action is called, we're gonna close this page. Uh, we, don't really, we don't need to import anything because we're closing the page. But in the implementation file, we're gonna define this action called close. Uh, I would like to note now that there are actually two ways to do this. The first one is to actually close the new page. The second one would be to reload the page that was originally there. Uh, for our purposes, we're gonna be closing this page with dismiss model view controller animated. But I would just like to tell you that it could be done the other way with this code right here. Just instead of new page, we're going to call this, we're going to replace this with test nav app view controller and this with test nav app view controller. And that will be all. But now we're going to use it, instead we're going to use a different command called dismiss model view controller animated. And do you want, and then this is basically asking us, do you want it to be animated? If you say no, as you, as I showed you before, it'll be like, it'll, it'll, it won't show any animation. It'll just switch back to the old page. But for our purposes, we want it to be yes. And that's really all the code that's needed. And now we just have to link this up, go to new page.xib. As you can see, this is our blank page. So, Let's just mess around with some stuff right here. Let's change the background color to red. And here in the files owner, as you can see, we have the received action close. Go to the library, drag, drag in, you know what? Let's drag in the toolbar. And over here, let's drag in a label. And let's just call this our new page. Center. So this is our new page with the button, and let's rename this button close. And we're going to go into the files owner. We have here the received action close, and just drag that to the button. And this time there is no need to select touch up inside because this is a tab bar button, toolbar button. So that's that. Just close, make sure you save, and let's just build and run. Compiling, installing, and here's our new file again. Open the new page, that works fine. Here's our new page, we can add some content here if you want. And when I press this close button, as you can see, it'll, the page had a, a, a down scrolling motion because it was being dismissed. So when I bring up the new page, it has an up scrolling motion. When I close it, it goes back down. So as you can see, no bugs, no errors. Everything is good down here. And that's it. 
This is our simple navigationally based application. There's actually quite a bit of possibilities that you can create with just these two commands. Dismiss model view controller animated and present model view controller because this is all we need to create a navigationally based application. So again, this example works perfectly well with just a couple lines of code. In the new page.m file, all we did was create an IV action called close and dismiss the view controller. And here all we did was define to open up the new page over here and present model view controller. And that's it. So as you can see, quite a simple tutorial. There is not much coding ability that is required to create this. And just wanted to show you guys that. Hopefully it helps you out. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and check out my other videos. And this will be iTracky signing off. Until next time with another iTracky developer tutorial. Thank you.